Now that we've seen the signal processing for your inputs and outputs, let's take a look at how to configure the amplifier with the presets section. The amplifier is driven by its presets, as all the DSP and channel configuration can be changed by simply recalling different presets. You have a preset recall, a preset save, the preset wizard, and a speaker wizard in the previous options. If you select Preset Recall, you can browse through a variety of channel combinations that may be useful to you. Or, you could use the Preset Wizard to have the amplifier configure itself to the loudspeakers that you are using. When you select the wizard, you'll see this brief information screen that gives you a few tips on how to proceed. After you read it, press Enter to begin. First, you must configure the channels by selecting the impedance and power rating of each of your loudspeakers. You'll notice that the channels will automatically combine to the most efficient configuration based on these factors. Channels that are combined with a plus sign are running in bridge mode, and if they're paired together, then they're running in parallel mode. Once your channels are configured, scroll the wheel to the right to proceed to the speaker assignment page. Here you can specify which loudspeakers are on each channel by selecting the assign button, and then selecting its name from existing loudspeaker data. The onboard library has many QSC and top-selling passive loudspeakers already, but if your loudspeaker is not listed, then you can easily add it using the Save Speaker function in the Output section, which we'll look at in just a bit. Once your amplifier is configured, scroll to the right and you can save the preset by giving it a name. You can give it any name you want. I'll name this one Sally. Be sure to select a user preset number that you're going to save over. I'll select user preset 1, and then hit the Save button. Now note that this preset is not loaded onto the amplifier yet, so you need to recall it using the preset recall function. Select preset recall, scroll past the 20 factory presets, and you'll get to the user presets. The first one there should be the one that I made called Sally. There she is. When you've made other adjustments to your amplifier, you can use the preset save button to save this preset again, or to save it as a different user preset number. You'll never be able to override any of the 20 factory presets, but you can use any of the 50 user preset slots at any time. Next, to add a speaker, you'll go to the output section, and you'll find it in speaker processing. Scroll down to save speaker. This will take you to the speaker wizard, which lets you add unknown and non-QSC loudspeakers to your speaker library. Once again, there's a brief informational screen that you can pass with the enter button. Next, simply input all of the requested information, the band, nominal impedance, and power rating as it is described in your loudspeaker spec sheet. Scroll to the right to name the loudspeaker and then save it. Then you'll be able to recall that information in the preset wizard. Finally, the last section of the menu is the utilities page. These features are fairly straightforward and simple to use. The status page shows you information on the amplifier, such as your total runtime, hardware and firmware version, power and temperature measurements. Amp ID allows you to change the name of your amplifier, which will be useful when identifying the amp with the Amplifier Navigator software application available for download at qsc.com. Next, you can adjust the display timeout settings to turn off the screen after being inactive from anywhere between 10 seconds to 15 minutes or never. You can also select if you wish the timeout to initiate a blackout or begin demo mode. Next you have the lockout options. Lockout will disable all functionality except for the power and mute buttons, and you must enter the password to enable or disable lockout. If you wish to change the password, you can do so in the password section. By default, the password is QSC. The CXD amplifier also has the ability to enable or disable the GPIO on the rear panel. Thanks for watching.